for the sake of um, what we're doing today, we are talking about fire and how observing what is happening in Sequoia. And we've kind of seen, oh, there's a deer on the hill. He's running in the sunlight looking so pretty. Hi, bud. <laughs> um, I love that. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, so we're taking a look at like what happens with when we don't mitigate the deadfall in the forest. So like all of this stuff potentially could be fuel for a fire, like especially on that side, like that hillside between those campsites has so much stuff. Um, and when we, when we don't do prescribed burns and we don't clear the floor, as, uh, as our former president would say, why don't we just rake the forest? <sighs> if we do, when we clear the forest floor, things don't burn as hot. So if we think about what we've been avoiding, we've been avoiding maintaining the forest and this planet and specifically like this area. When we avoid to maintain internally, the same thing happens in our bodies. If we get stressed, we're pumping cortisol. Cortisol causes inflammation. Inflammation chronically causes a load of diseases, can manifest as mental disorders and illnesses. Um, and we've been talking a lot about this and they're like, there are, there's definitely like there's brain chemistry, mental health, where like something's off. And then there's like, you have trauma that hasn't been resolved and you're, what you are showing, the symptoms are the physical, emotional, spiritual manifestation of the unresolved trauma. For me, um, when I was diagnosed with diabetes, that was coming after a chapter where I had no sweetness for myself and my life. And I found it through food. I found it through drinking. I found it through anything that I possibly could except for feeling the feelings. And then I was diagnosed with di type two diabetes where blood sugar is high. Like that sounds kind of woo, but the second I stopped drinking, the second I stopped eating like that, the second I started paying attention and the second I started healing, diabetes went away. So call it what you want. Maybe it's just that I stopped eating like shit and then my body responded. But when I was eating, like once I cleaned out my diet, once I started moving my body, once I started taking medication, my blood sugar was still elevated. I was losing weight, which was like part of the goal of diabetes management, but my blood sugar was still through the roof. It wasn't until I noticed the stress and got to the root of the stress and then therefore the root of the trauma that my blood sugar started to come down. So I think that diabetes was the best thing that ever happened to me because it gave me a framework and some like rooted American medical sciency numbers to like look at my body because if I'm if I needed my blood sugar levels to be between this number and this number if they weren't I could be like okay what did I eat did I move my body did I take my meds how's my stress and it gave me a framework where I could literally see what the inputs whether that was stress food medicine or exercise what the inputs I was giving myself was outputting in my body it was a blessing it was so so good so when we think about the fire here what's happening is this stuff's just going up in flames because we haven't been doing the prescribed burns. When they do the prescribed burns, the fire still happens. That's the thing. We can't actually prevent a wildfire. I can't tell the lightning to not hit the forest floor and start a fire. But what we can do is we can do the prescribed burns. And we drove by some of them yesterday. You, you could smell it on the way. And that, that slope looked a little ashy. That's what we want. That soil is great for growing sequoias. It's great for growing green stuff. It's great for not going up in flames the next time a fire comes through. So when we think about... Welcome to Hiking My Feelings TV.
Good morning. We are at Eagle Falls and in Lake Tahoe. Emerald Bay is behind me and we are getting ready to get started on our hike up to Dix Lake, Fontanellis, Velma, Richardson. Um, we're doing the loop and we are uh, here to heal and hike. And I don't know if you could hear any of that first part, but um, Hiking Hill Lake Tahoe is underway. There it is. 